In section 1.3, we're going to subtract numbers. So first off, let's say we have 98 minus 71. So what we're going to do here, again, just like we when we added, we're going to put them vertically. So 98 minus 71. And we're just going to subtract 8 minus 1 is 7. 9 minus 7 is 2. Let's say that we have... 8, 6, 4, 7, minus 6, 6, 7, 0. 7 minus 0 is 7. And here we have 4 minus 7, so we need to carry a one, borrow a 1 from here. So this is going to be a 5. This will become 14. 14 minus 7 is 7. And then we have 5 minus 6, so we need to borrow 1 from here. This becomes a 7. This becomes a 15. So 15 minus 6 is 9. And 7 minus 1, or 6, is 1. So the answer here is 1977. If we have 8,000 minus 68, we're going to have to borrow. And here, this is going to become a, um, we borrow 1 from here. So this becomes a 9 and a 10. And we have 10 minus um, 8 is 2. 9 minus 6 is 3, and 7, 9. Because here we had to borrow all the way to the 8, um, because we um, we're just had zeros here. So this becomes 7, 9, 9, 10, and we go from there. Next, we're going to get some word problems. Something like, Susan earns $248 on Monday and $954 on Tuesday. How much more did she earn on Tuesday? So here's just going to be a subtraction. We're going to say 954 minus 248. 14 minus 8 is 6. 4 minus 4 is 0. And 9 minus 2 is 7. So she earned $706 more on Tuesday than she did on Monday. Next, it's going to be something like 75 subtracted from 84. Here we just do it backwards. So it's going to be 84 minus 75, which is 9. If you're given difference of 73 and 69. So when you write it like this, you're going to keep them in the same order. 73 minus 75. 69 which is 4 so these are the two ways that you're going to see them either 75 subtracted from 84 which means that you reverse it because it's subtracting from and here the difference of 73 and 69 difference always means that you're subtracting and you're going to keep them in the same order that you saw them next let's say we have um, something where you're going to it's going to say subtract 7 minus 4, and it's going to give you a square, and then it's going to say to check. And it's 4 plus a square equals something. Okay, so 7 minus 4 is 3, so that we put our answer, and then check that. All we're going to do is add what we got our answer and what we subtracted. So we subtracted the 4, we're going to put in a 3, 4 plus 3 is 7, so we know we got that right. Another one like that will be something like subtract 64 minus 55. So when we get that, 64 minus 55 is 9. To check our answer, we have 55 because that's what we um, subtracted and it's going to be plus. We got a 9. And that equals 
65 plus 9 equals 64. So we not know we got that right. So for um, the credit for this section, what you need to do is email me this. Just put subtract 64 minus 55 equals 9. To check your answer, 55 plus 9 equals 64.